Hello everyone. In today's video, we're going to talk about uh, subtraction and partitioning. Now, these are two different things, right? We're going to take away, but we're also going to use the number square and help our students to understand how to take away using partitioning. So, we're going to separate the numbers and then we're going to do the subtraction. So let's have a look. This is a hundred square, okay? There is a hundred numbers on here. We go across in ones and we go up and down in tens. So forwards and backwards in ones and up and down in tens. So we go the number we are taking away by going up and we are adding going down, okay? Across this way to the left we are taking away. To the right, we are adding, okay? Now, let's have a look at our question for today. 76 subtract 35. Now look, I'm going to look at this number, 35. We're going to subtract 35. So, for our students to understand what to do first, we partition. Now, partition the number. Okay, so here we have 30 and here we have 5. What are we going to do first? We're going to subtract 30. So, we put the, spa the, the fly onto 76. Then, we first subtract 30. So, which way are we going to go? To subtract, we go up. 1, 2, 3. Okay, good. Right, so now we're on 46. We have currently done 76 subtract 30, and that's part of, that's step one, part of the subtraction using the number square and partitioning. Okay, so what do we do now? We subtract the 5. So we go backwards. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So in this method, we have taken the number, we've placed the fly on the number square, we've subtracted 30, okay? And when we've taken away the five, so we've done the tens first and then the ones, okay? Which is called partitioning. And this is one of the methods that we use in Abacus to help the children understand place value, for them to understand the value of a number, that we were subtracting 30 and 5. So we went up and across. Our final answer is 41. Okay? Thank you very much. Bye-bye.